1400 miles from Jerusalem, the imperial capital, Rome. largest city on earth. Population one million. It's two and a half times more densely populated than modern Manhattan. But 18 years after the crucifixion, a series of droughts creates a food shortage. Rome needs 200,000 tons of grain each year or its people will starve. One in five are already on welfare. The mayor of New York City, the mayor of Washington, D.C., faces many of the same problems that the Roman emperors did in managing the most important city of the ancient world. Rome's ruler, Emperor Claudius. Disabled, insecure, and the most powerful man in the Western world. All emperors had to please the populace and bring home the bacon, so to speak. But Claudius had to try harder than other rulers to legitimize his rule. As emperor, Claudius is regarded as a god. But he still needs the support of his people to stay in power. He orders handouts for the poor. But there's not enough bread to go around. Riots were a part of life in Rome. It was a way that the people had of getting messages across to their ruler, and the ruler ignored that at their peril. The previous emperor, Caligula, was assassinated. Claudius could be next. The best way for an emperor to win over the public Build. Eight miles from the city, one of the largest engineering projects in the empire. A mighty aqueduct. To carry water to the city, Roman engineers carve a route through 45 miles of countryside. They tunneled through mountains. They bridged across valleys. They built these vast structures across huge amounts of space without dynamite, without any kind of modern tools. And yet they're so well built that 1,500 years after the end of the civilization, those structures are still standing. The aqueduct is powered by gravity. It needs to drop one foot every 300. Too steep, and the water will overflow. Too shallow, it'll run dry. Precision engineering. The secret to Roman construction. A revolutionary new building material. Easy to mold. It sets rock hard. Concrete. People talk about the Bronze Age and the Iron Age. But in many ways, ever since the Romans, we've been living in the Concrete Age. The key ingredient of Roman concrete is volcanic ash. And Rome is surrounded by 50 volcanoes. Today, Two-thirds of mankind live in buildings made of concrete. The 
aqueduct cost the equivalent of eight and three quarter billion dollars. Ten times more than the Hoover Dam. You have to imagine people coming into Rome, getting some of their first impressions about this, the center of empire from this massive engineering project. It was advertising Rome's power. So everyone knows who built this wondrous monument. The emperor names it after himself. Aqua Claudia. The waters of Claudius. It takes 14 years to build. 400,000 blocks of stone. Six million cubic feet of concrete. Rome's aqueducts will deliver 250 million gallons of water a day. Enough for 1,300 fountains, 900 baths, and 144 public toilets. 